Hey everybody, so if you saw my last short, you'll recognize this wallet. Today I'm going to be making the same thing, except it's the back is out of bison leather. And it's also going to be for my dad, so it's a little bit special. So we'll start with cutting our piece out. And here comes the big kahunga. And it may seem like you can see the uh, pattern somewhat, but it was literally invisible when I was cutting. And so here's the vision, right? Final product, basically. Anyway, super cool, super cool. And I'm just gonna try some skiving. And I'm also going to use this burnishing gum on the pockets just to clean them up since I can't really get to them later. Anyway, this stuff is really good. And then I also bought this leather die, which helps keep the edges uniform. And it'll also come in handy when uh, I put the bison leather on there because it's quite a bit lighter than the pockets I'm using here. And we'll just glue those on. And then they're the other side. And we'll fork it. And so while I'm sewing, I've put a timer up here so you can compare me to great sewers of the world, like Young Man Sewing on Sewing Machine stock photo. Download image now. Or the sheer and baffling speed of group of people sewing on machines at a clothing factory stock photo. Download image now. Or the toughest competition. Man using laptop by sewing machine and giving thumbs up at textile factory stock photo. Download image now. Anyway, I decided that maybe it would be smart to start dating my work, but in places you can't see. Alright, so now I'm just going to glue these pockets on, and I'm also going to sew the sides here. And so basically what I've done is I've uh, burnished and rounded the edges too, and I think it adds quite a bit of a nice look. And now we're just going to glue them onto this back piece here. And these two little holes I'm sewing on are actually just to keep the top in place. And we'll just do some burnishing. Now I'm just skiving the edges of the bison leather. And this is the part I was scared the most for, because I really didn't want to mess it up. But I should have fretted not, because that soon turned into endless scratching, making absolutely no progress at thinning the edges of the leather. And while I sat there working, I thought to myself, I wonder which of my viewers is up pushing a boulder right now? Who's climbing that metaphorical mountain of life? So, if you're like me, and you're up pushing your boulder, why don't you like the video and comment, I'm pushing my boulder, so that way we all know that we're pushing our boulders together. But nonetheless, I push my boulder all the same. So now I'm just going to glue these pockets right onto the bison. All right. And we'll just make sure that it's tightly bonded, because it's hard to punch through. And so now we're just going to fork it again. And so I'll just do the same thing to the other side. And if you notice while I'm sewing, I've got a new toy and it's called a stitching pony. And basically it just really helps hold the piece in place while I'm trying to sew it and makes life so much easier. And now you can hear the song of my father's approach. And his high praise brings me to my 
little sentimental segment of the video. When you do crafts like this where you can create stuff for other people, there's nothing more rewarding than seeing the heartfelt smile on their face when you give it to them. I mean, of course, a thousand dollars, I mean, that, that would be pretty rewarding, but if you can't get that, at least take refuge in the fact that you just made somebody's day. Alright, and that's all of our stitching. Just gonna give it a little snip and light it up. And now, really all we have to do is clean up the edges. Oh, we're going to do some sanding here. And yeah, I want to make a point that I do change grits of sandpaper when I'm doing these edges. And we'll just dye it. And then the final burnish of the project. And I'll leave this one going a little bit longer because I think burnishing has the most satisfying sound. And while I'm putting the logo on here, I just wanted to give thanks to anybody that watches my videos, and even more so to people that'll interact on them and comment heartwarming things. I don't think I can stress enough that it brings me an incredible amount of joy and also makes me greatly look forward to making my next video. So I feel like with all the support I've received, I just have to include a thank you in every video. And we'll finish it off with some cleaning. And so, just to make sure it's functional, I'll take the cards out of the wallet I made in the short and put them in this one. And it's looking pretty good. Anyway, this is a fun project and it kind of helps when you make something for the second time. But it was special because I got to make something for somebody and it was my dad, so even more so. But, I think it's looking pretty good and the leathers match well. The bison leather is super thick, so, yeah. Thanks for stopping by, and until next time, Star Sailor.